Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Claire and last night I finished the Netflix show Witcher. Um, <laughs> what an experience. So I have never played the game, never read the books, knew nothing about the world of which this show comes from. I went into this very blind. I am a big fantasy fan, but I have talked to people who are not, and often they'll say that they don't like fantasy because there's no real rules and things happen willy-nilly and it gets very confusing and there's so many complicated names for the people and the creatures and the places and it's convoluted and over the top and this show embodies that point of view for better or worse entirely that being said I still kind of liked it. I spent a lot of the show being extremely confused. I was confused about where we were in the world because they, there's no maps. I was confused about the timeline. I was confused about who was fighting who, why something was happening. It felt like the show was both skipping over and going through a lot of the important world building information extremely quickly to the point where I like couldn't follow what was going on, but then took its time at points that I just didn't feel were important. I could feel the video game inspiration because Geralt kept going on these like side missions, fighting these monsters. These side missions were just so non-essential and even though the action was great i i love the henry cavill is that his name superman superman i love superman <laughs> i thought he was fantastic he's such a good physical actor he just looks capable and he's strong and he actually knows how to fight i like Geralt. i guess i'm skipping around too this is what the show has done to me but i also really loved yennefer the third episode, which I think is the strongest episode in the series, I love her transformation. I thought she was funny. I thought she was the most interesting in that third episode when she finally goes through that horrific physical transformation. But again, there was also that sense of like, how long has she been at the school? How long has she been out of the school? Um, at one point, Geralt meets back up with the bard who makes a casual comment that it's been a decade since they've seen each other, even though they look exactly the same. And it's like, are you joking? Has it actually been a decade in the show? I have no idea. There's no sense of time. And I think they did I don't know why they did that. It made it extremely confusing. I guess there was kind of a cool reveal towards the end when you realize how involved he is and how close he's been to Siri the entire time. But it's like, is that reveal worth the utter confusion I felt the other seven episodes leading up to it? I'm not so sure. I really liked the final battle at the end against Nefgard, even though... <laughs> like the show constantly was introducing these new characters but because they were doing that I didn't get a lot of time to form a bond with really any of them and so they're performing these heroic acts but it's like I don't really care and I didn't really feel like I got to know the villains very well either there was a part of me that was like are they as bad as they seem I know because of the first episode they like brutally destroy this kingdom but it also sound, seems like the queen of this kingdom is a dicks not that they deserve to be destroyed but is this a truly unjust war like how evil are these people i couldn't quite get a sense i also wasn't necessarily terrified of them but i thought that the the actual magic involved for the battle sequences were really cool <laughs> even though they were a little wacky and i often was like i that doesn't seem like they should be able to do that but whatever because it looks cool and i think that's where a lot of this comes down to is i'm like well that doesn't make sense or i'm confused but it looks cool. I really liked the music. I really, really, really liked the song that the bard sings about the Witcher. Love that tune. Instrumental music in general just has this like sharp 
edge to it and really harsh strings that I think just gives us like really cool undertone throughout the show. I thought, and I'm someone that pays attention to costumes and appearances, and I've heard memes about Geralt's like, oh, his wig is bad and the contacts and blah, blah, blah. I wasn't bothered by him and the way he looked at all. Same with Yennefer. I thought she looked great. I thought the purple eyes actually came across really well. Um, I did find <laughs> the costumes, and I understand fantasy costumes are probably extremely expensive and difficult to pull off, and more than just the design, which I thought was very lackluster, I found a lot of them to be ill-fitted, even on a main character like Yennefer, where it's like she'd be wearing a dress and it's like gapping in weird places. I, I understand if you don't have the budget to make it like crazy elaborate, but you can't like tailor it a little bit more. And for Nelfgaard, they wore these black armor that I think was supposed to look like vines, but ended up looking like wrinkles. <laughs> Just things like that that were so strange and off-putting. I also wish that they used costumes and design more to, so we as the audience could visually differentiate where people were from, especially because they're just giving us no clues, no hints about where anybody is or what time period anybody is in. It's a... Uh... <laughs> They're just giving me nothing to work with. Now, if you have played the game and have read the books, I would imagine it would be a lot easier to figure out what's going on. But for me, I was so lost. But like I said, there is just, there is something about it that was still very fun and enjoyable. I'm not gonna think super hard about it. If somebody asked me about it, I would be maybe hesitant to say, yeah, go watch it. It's not one of those. It's like, have you ever heard of it before? Or do you have an inherent love for like fantasy or D&D, &D, things like that? Then maybe you'll enjoy it in the same way I enjoyed it. And after the last episode, I want to see what happens. I want to watch more, but I'm not holding my breath for it because on a narrative level, I felt that there was something so lacking. There wasn't good connective tissue, but it also wasn't something that was like grabbing at my heart. And I think that's maybe because there were too many characters. It got too confusing with the different time and place. Maybe now that they've kind of established everything, uh, the world will feel more clear in a season two, which is why I would definitely give that a chance. But if it's equally as confusing as a season one, I don't know if it's a series that I'm gonna stick by through the end, but for what it is, I did have a good time. So let me know if you've watched Witcher and what your thoughts about it, especially if you are familiar with the game and or book, if that definitely helped you have a better footing for this very elaborate and convoluted world. Let me know down in the comments below. Make sure to like this video and to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on any little mini reviews like this in the future. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.